what it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden Yeah, about to see it shine, cause we're golden Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at a custom ROM. Yes, after videos about Apple products, we are doing the custom ROM video. So in this video, I got a pretty beat up in the front Galaxy Note 5. It is still on 7.0 Nougat. And in this video, we're gonna install One UI ROM by Floyd. Floyd One UI port for the Galaxy Note 5. So, let's go into the video and take a look at the ROM. So, I'm here at Twerp, so of course, when you're about to install ROM, make sure to you delete everything, so Delphix system data, cache, and it's up to your choice if you want to erase your internal storage. But make sure you do the wipe, I did the wipe. Next, I just click install, go to here, and flash the ROM. And we're gonna go to the installation together. And this is the first time I'm actually doing this in front of the camera because usually when I do ROM reviews, I just already have it installed. Okay, so we're now at the uh, installation screen. There you go, it's a little bit better. So we we'll click next on the Aroma installer. Okay, make sure the device is blah, 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 blah. I agree with all above. We already wipe it all. And this is the change lock. So this new version 3.0 is based on the Note 8. And what, meanwhile, the version 2.0 is based on the Node IV. Okay, so we got options here. So I will not do a full wipe. Enter sorry, will not be wiped. Okay, full wipe. And then I will use the Samsung white boot animation because why not? And uh, backup current EFS. Okay. Next, this is my dual dual sim. So this is a dual sim variant and this is the international device and csc previous csc will be used okay and then smart manager so you can use samsung packages solar if you really want to but of course we like google all right we like google so we're gonna use the google package installer wallpaper s10 plus okay ringtones s10 plus hell yes of course why not edge features uh, no edge because I want to keep this Note 5 because it used to have no, was it edge screen? So I'm gonna do it. Dynamic launch screen, my first security, out of way, nav bar, MIUI camera. Maybe there's something wrong with the camera so that's why it's installed. So I'm just gonna keep it checked right there. And stock Google phones, Samsung phones. All right, next. We got good luck apps and yes i will try to install it because i don't have good luck actually in my country and just again you pick your choices so click like this next is the uh, bloatware section here now bloatware is the apps that pre-installed when you first turn on the phone now just choose which one you want and which one you don't want okay so i picked my choices with the aroma installer and now i'm gonna click install Okay, now the installation is done. Now I have to do is click on the reboot device, hit N, and the device should be reboot by itself. And I'll be right back once the widths we hit the setup screen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are success with the setup. And now here we are with the Note 5. You can see there, running Android 9.0 Pi, one UI ROM. Okay, so as you can see, when every time we change the thing, which every time we turn off and on, like the S10, it will change the lock screen wallpaper. Of course, you can disable it when, when we unlock it. Boom, oops, sorry. We are at the One UI home screen with the icons, and there we go. This is a real One UI, guys. Thanks to Floyd for uh, porting this from the Galaxy Note 8. Okay, software formation, Android 9.0 Pi. PIE and One UI version 1.0. Okay, so of course we got a dark mode. So if we go to a settings, oh, there it is actually night mode. We got the full fledged night mode on the Note 5 as well, just like my hold on. Okay, guys, so I got the gas in Note 9 here, of course, running One UI and the Note 5 running One UI. As you can see, we also the dark mode is the same thing, and I'm gonna list it there, the same thing as the Note 9. And if we go to settings, settings, it's the same thing right there. Same old, same old, nothing different. And sample phone. 
Oh, there we go. The updialers are the same. And then let's see, and let calendar, oops, calendar. Skin say there, dark mode, dark mode, it's a bit late. And yeah, basically the same dark mode as all on the Samsung Galaxy Note series, the S series, okay. But there's one thing that kind of makes me jealous a little bit. Floyd actually put the S10 ringtone, so it's gonna sample, this is the new ringtone that from the S10. Versus on the Galaxy Note 9, we actually got the older one, which is some kind of, you know, a little jealous. You can see there. They also changed name. So yeah, the camera does not work, the built-in One UI camera. So that's why Floyd put the, actually the MIUI camera. Oh shit. Look at this there. Very Xiaomi-ish because actually a MIUI. And it just crashed once I took a picture. Okay, there we go, just a little bit. So yeah, S Pen. S Pen works, we got live message now, but I don't think it's not on the Note 5 yet, but thanks to the ported One UI from the Note 8, we actually got them. Again, dark mode with the whole settings, flashlight toggles, everything working. We got a blue light filter, which is also working, which is very, very interesting. And also with this ROM, we got always on display, so we just, just gonna go to display mode, show always, and now we lock the phone. We now get an updated always on display. Yes, the Note 5 will get always on display. So I don't know if this gonna impact the battery, but at least we got always on display on the Note 9 and the Note 9 and the Note 5. So if we go to settings here, of course, we can customize the model. So simple this with the color with this one, click done. Lock the phone, now we got, look at that, always on display on the Galaxy Note 5. And of course the changeable wallpapers from the S10 and all that. Also with this phone we got good lock, so if you guys don't in fact have it like mine, I can't install good lock because I'm not on, the, on that uh, place, on the uh, on the region. So yeah, so let's click on finish here. Hey guys, so this is me from the future and I finally know how to enable good lock on there. So you don't have to go to good lock and do this because it will just bring to the Galaxy store. So what you do is go to tap and hold at the home screen and click add. Once that's add, you will see the settings right there. So you will have to click it and now you can inside the lock star. So lock star, we got test change here. This is what the test change look like. So you can see there, way more different than the stock one UI. So we turn this on. We we'll apply it. Okay, so once we apply, we're gonna lock the phone. Okay, we're gonna wait for it a little bit. When we turn it on, you can see that the lock screen has changed. My weather is right there, and uh, everything has changed just depending on what you like. So, we got the unlock type here, swipe which one swipes that you want, or you can add your own style. So, you can simply click add here, and this is where you can make your basically your own lock screen, so your own whether like which way you want to put it the notifications anything the details of the last screen anything you want to put it so for example this and see can this see right there this is the option that you want to put so if you want to put your lock screen icon the lock screen the help tags and all that music controller so basically way way more freedom with your lock screen what to do next if like save it's happened recently the one you just created lock the phone turn it back on and there you go, there's a new lock screen. As you can see there, it's way different than the other one. Okay. Gallery, of course, it's working right there. Deny, you can see there, picture viewing is still the same, swipe down. So yeah, basically the full-fledged One UI on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. We also got YouTube vacant as the default YouTube application. So we replaced the stock one. So what is YouTube vacant? So YouTube vacant is actually a B2 premium minus the premium. So for example, I have one of my friend's videos. I can just tap on the video and I can go home while the video is still playing. For example, also I can open up Instagram, scroll Instagram and have the video still right here and zoom, zoom. No, we cannot zoom. Okay. And look at that. The audio is still working. And to this message, just scroll down here and it did miss. And as you can see, with YouTube Premium, YouTube Premium, so yes, this vacant app basically faked out the YouTube Premium for you for free. Okay guys, so 
I think that's enough for me to review One UI on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Thanks to Floyd, we able to get One UI on this phone. Not even only One UI, we got Android 9.0 VIP Pi Boys. We got the Pi Boys on the Note 5. Now let's see if the um what is it called fingerprints work. Okay. Okay, so I add my fingerprints. So click done. And now. Okay, let's just lock the phone and press. Yeah, it works. So fingerprint sensor does work because a lot of custom ROM, the fingerprint sensor is not working. So in fact, I can just do this from here. No, I have to press it. Okay, that's not mine. So yeah, guys, there you go. That's the Floyd ROM review for the Galaxy Note 5. We got one UI. We got a freaking always on display hold on hold on hold on hold on we got a freaking always on display and all the greatest features um yeah what more did you ask we had dark mode everything enabled so yeah guys the same copy as the original one ui on the galaxy note 9 right here same 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 old same old okay so guys thank you guys for watching this little short video of the samsung galaxy note 5 review with one ui and yeah i will see you guys in the next video Peace out.